now this is my width at this distance down here or this is our depth okay so the the, the first one the 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 width is 30 40 50 and the depth is 40 uh 100 with 40 plus by 30 60 100 120 cube divided by 12 minus by uh minus by twice because you got the top square and but the bottom square the width is 30 the depth is 30 cube over 12 plus by the area is 30 30 okay and then multiply by so the offset we know that the centroid is exactly at the same center so it's 20 plus by 15 squared okay so this uh this is for the the one that I've just written them after the minus that is for the hollow uh square okay so this will be equal to uh 50 times 120 power 3 by 12 is equal to 7.2 times 10 to power 6, let me do it again, 50 times 120 power 3 divided by 12, 7.2 minus, okay, so 30 times by 30 power 3 divided by 12, plus by 30 times by 30 times by uh, 35 squared times 2, it's got 2.34, let me do it again, 30 times by 30 power 3 divided by 12, plus by 30 times by 30 times by uh, 2035 squared times 2, 2 2.34, so same by 2 power 6 by 2.34 power 6 is equal to 4.86 times 10. Can someone check for me? Is the answer correct? Okay, I have not a clue. Times 10 to power 6 millimeter 4 or 4.86 times 10 to power minus 6 meter 4. Is it correct, anyone? I have no answer. Can you hear me? I think you can, right? So check for me, okay? I believe this is correct. Okay, then the next thing, now we want to find the first moment of area, okay? So first moment of area, so we're going to find two things. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take the, yeah, I'm going to, I need the diagram, okay? So I'm, I'll make it small. Okay, so you, you, you can see, I can see. So what are, we want to do, is we want to find the uh, first moment of area at point at point a up to here okay we want to find so i call this at point a okay so we want to find our first moment of area over this entire thing okay so i'm going to divide this this way Okay, I'm going to divide that. Okay, so I'll still call that part our flange and then our wet. Okay, so our Q now. Okay, so Q Z at point A is equal to Q flange. Plus by Q web. Okay, so I like to use a uh, width multiplied by depth. Y bar. Okay, so Q my 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 flange the the width is forty. Right, no no the width is not forty. Come on Eugene, the width is fifty. The depth is ten. The Y bar, so to the centroid, so 20, 30, 10, so 60 minus by 10 divided by 2. Y 60, because to the centroid, to the centroid, this distance from here to here 
Uh, come on, not necessary. G. So there's the distance from here to here. Right, you can see this is 20, 30, so this will become 60. Okay, so this is the flange. Now you have to be careful with the web because a lot of times we forget to multiply by two because of left and right. Okay, the width is 10. The depth is 30. Okay. The depth is 30. So the Y bar, the Y bar will be uh, 30 divided by 2 plus by 20. Or 20 plus by 30 divided by 2. Okay. 20 plus by 30. Okay. So this will be equal to uh, 60 minus 5 times 10 times 50, you know, 60 minus 5 times 50 times 10 is equal to 27500 plus by twice plus by 30 divided by 2 plus by 20 times by 30 times by 10 times by 2 is equal to 21 or 21 times 10 to the power 3. So this is equal to 27500 plus 21 power 3 is equal to 48.5 times 10 to power 3 millimeter cube. Okay, so let me check. 10 to 50 multiplied by 10, 60, 10. Okay, let me check. 50 times 10 times by 60 minus 5, 27500 is correct. So twice width is 10, 30. 20, 30 divided by 2, 30 divided by 2, plus by 20, times by 30, times 10, times 2, to 1, 0, 0, plus a 2, 7, 5, 0, 0. Yep, this is correct. So, so this is all. This is equal to 4.8.5 times 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube. Okay. So that is our first uh, moment of area at point A. So immediately we can apply the formula. So we are given that Q max is equal to what? Q max is equal to 60. Okay. So we, we find that shear XY at point A first. Let's find the ratio first. Okay. So VY we don't know. IZZ we know. IZZ is 4.86 or 4.86 times 10 to the power minus 6. Thickness is twice. Then twice of what? 10 millimeter, 0 0.01. And then this will be equal to uh, 48.5 times 10 to the power minus 6. Right? So 48.5 power of minus 6 divided by 4.86 power of minus 6. Eh. Eh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 48.5 power of minus 6 divided by 4.86 power of minus 6 divided by 2 divided by 0 0.01. So this is equal to 498. Sorry, 498.971, okay, uh, VY. I'll do it again. 48.5 power minus 6 divided by 4.86 power minus 6 divided by 2 divided by 0 0.01. Yep, okay, so 49. So this is the shear stress at point A in terms of VY. And remember what I told you guys about VY. VY is constant regardless of what area you are interested in, okay. So the next thing that we want to find, okay, we want to find uh, QZ at the centroid, okay, which is also equal to our QZ max, right? So this will be equal to uh, 48.5 times 10 to power 3, right? Because it's, it's also going to consider the first moment of area at point A. It's still going to be the same, All right? Then plus, so now we are going to plus the bottom bit down here. That's the part we're going to plus, okay? Plus, by the width now is uh, 30, 40, 50. Uh, the depth is 20. The Y bar is 20 divided by 2, okay? So this is equal to 48.5 times 10 to the power 3. Plus by 50 times by 20 times by 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10,000. Uh, 10. 
okay? So it's 48.5 plus by 10, it's equal to 58.5. times 10 to the power minus 3 millimeter cube or uh, 58.5 times 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube. Okay. So you realize that the first moment of area is highest as a center, as obvious. Now the thing we have to compare the shear xy. Okay. So the shear xy at the centroid will be equal to uh, Vy, still the same. Now it's 58.5, it's higher now. Right, divide by 4.86 times 10 to the power minus six. Now the thickness is what? The thickness is 30 plus 10 plus 10 is equal to 0 0.5 or 0 0.05. Right, so it has a, a, a bigger thickness now. Okay, it has a bigger thickness now. So it's 58.5, but it, it also have a have a larger first moment of area, okay? Eugene? Yes? I was just wondering, for QZ, you have 4.85 times 10 to the 3, and then 10 times 10 to the 3. So is it 10 to the negative 3, or 10 to the oh, 3 uh, per millimeter? 3 cube? on the first one, the second one is negative 6. Thank you, okay. I made a mistake there. Thank okay. you. So 58.5 power minus 6 divided by 4.86 power minus 6 divided by 0 0.05. So now this one is 240.74 Vy. Okay, I do it again 58.5 power minus 6 divided by 4.86 power minus 6 divided by 0 0.05. It's equal to 240.74 Vy. So you realize that, hey, this is different, right? <laughs> right? What, what is different now? Now what 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 we realize that the tau max occur at point where? At point A. Why? Why I say tau max occur at point A? Because Vy is a constant. Yes or no? Right? Vy is a constant. So tau max. Okay, so tau max note that tau max occurs at point A, right? So therefore, uh, shear xy at point A is equal, so is equal to uh, what? 60 times 10 to the power of 6. And this will be equal to 598, 0971 Vy. Okay, so Vy should be equal to 60 times 10 to the power 6 divided by 498.971. Okay, so 60 power 6 divided by 498.971 is equal to 120.247 times 10 to the power 3 Newton. Okay, so the answer is 120.3. Okay, so now if we have to, if, if, if you have to, if, if you choose the wrong point, if, okay, if, uh, centroid was chosen or you did not check, you say, ah, it's always at the centroid. Okay, if you, you choose a centroid, right, so your shear xy at centroid is equal to 60 times 10 to the power of 6 and then it's equal to 240.74 vy so vy if you use a cent uh, at the centroid okay you got 240.74 now your 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 vy is 249.232 times 10 to the power of 3 newton and this is wrong. Why? Because if you use this load, the shear stress at point A will what? Will fail. Right? Right? If you use 249, if you plug 249 into here, right? If you do put plug in 249 into here, you're uh, not, not, not there. Uh, if you plug 249 
into 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 this uh into if you put if you plug in two four nine into here right it's going to be greater than what 60 megapascal and that's not right okay so for term test one okay you are going to test up to here okay now i want to talk to you about your your term test Okay, I want to talk to you about your term test. Now, in in the later on this lecture, okay, we have one at uh ten thirty. I want to uh do some shear force and bending moment diagram with you all because I I think you have to know because in the in the test you might need to know your shear force and bending moment diagram. I want to help you to recall. Okay, now let's talk about the term test. Before I go on, anyone, any burning question to ask about this example over here? Anyone, please. Eugene, I just want to ask where you got the thickness. 